From being almost frozen out during the early days of the Trump presidency, Qatar has become a key player for Joe Biden and his White House. Biden's foreign policy is rather shaky. He needs support, not just from large and powerful countries like the European states, Germany, etc. Uh, he needs support from smaller but capable allies. It was Qatar that hosted talks with the Taliban in Doha. It was Qatar that played a pivotal role as the United States completed its chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan. It has an important link to Iran as talks about a new nuclear deal continue. And then there's energy. As the US faces off against Russia in Ukraine, it's promising harsh sanctions against Moscow if there's an invasion. But those sanctions could be limited in support if President Putin turned off the gas supply to Europe in the middle of winter in retaliation. The US needs another supplier, and that's where Qatar and its liquid natural gas comes in. Qatar is in a very good position to supply LNG uh, to, and to do it strategically. You know, it's not just for sale. Now, you can see in Europe, there's an effort to use the production and distribution of Qatari gas in a way that strengthens the global coalition to say to Russia, no, you can't invade Ukraine. That's not, no, that's not okay. It's a very important role for Qatar to play. Many of the Afghan evacuees are in Qatar to be processed and as home of a massive U.S. base, it will be the center of any fresh operations in Afghanistan. Qatar is central, not only in bandaging all the wounds uh, left by you know, the, the chaotic American withdrawal, but by uh, uh, the discussions we're going to have to have um, to uh, alleviate and mitigate and address one of the worst humanitarian crises on the planet. Joe Biden has signaled he doesn't see the Middle East as a priority, but he needs strategic partners in the region. And Qatar's emir wants his country to be in the prime position to strengthen its image as a key regional player. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.